Political ecology it takes as its starting point the idea that the environment is politically produced in some way, that it's not natural. Uh, essentially it draws upon different theoretical traditions, different disciplinary fields to understand um, the environment as something which produces social inequalities, um, inequalities in terms of justice and also unequal power relations too. Um, the thing that really excites me about uh, the programme is the fact that we, we look to bring the subject alive. We don't see it as something which is located only in the classroom. We look to bring our students out of the classroom, engaging with the world around them, doing uh, exercises which get us to get our heads up to make sense of the world. And Lancaster is a great place to do that because um, one of the core themes of political ecology is to make sense of environmental change across scales. So we can start right here in Lancaster, the place, look at what's going on, understand historic processes with, um, with reference to what's going on in the broader world. So a large part of the um, course theoretically is to think about uh, decolonialism, for example, and Lancaster has a very problematic, actually, uh, relationship with colonialism. It was a major um, port for slavery um, going back a couple of hundred years, and that history is a living history. It has effects, it leaves legacies. We're able to use and examine, study Lancaster the place to kind of give us a window into talking about those connections, both locally and, as I said, globally as well. So we see political ecology as a subject which is alive, that's never still, it's a dynamic subject and we want to share that journey with you.